are in the Big Easy for the Big Three Playoff presented by State Farm inside the Smoothie King Center here in New Orleans. It's the three-headed monsters taking on the top seed in the league, the triplets. The Killer Threes, they've already punched their ticket to the chip. They knocked off power. So now, will it be the triplets? Will it be the three-headed monsters? Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Custer alongside Brendan Haywood. And you know, Brendan, all season long, the triplets have been the most consistent, dominant team in this league, led by Joe Johnson, with the three-headed monsters who some say backed their way into the playoffs by po points differential got here but they're the one team besides the killer threes that people said that's the team i don't want to face on it because they're dangerous and they've been playing well as of late well listen it doesn't matter how you got here you can back in it doesn't matter you can slide in long as you get into the playoffs that means you're a very dangerous team we've seen teams get into the playoffs before that people might have some questions about and they've been on runs and guess what i think we can see that today i think that uh the triplets are going to have to take this game very very seriously and go out there and do what they normally do. And it starts with their captain, Joe Johnson. Well, let's take a look at the rosters brought to you by State Farm. Joe Johnson, the MVP this season, led by Lisa Leslie. And then the three-headed monsters, led by Richard Lewis and three-headed monsters. Now, Joe Johnson here has been a game winner. In week seven, these guys faced each other, and Joe Johnson went off. Yeah, Joe Johnson. You see him right here. This is an incredible, I cannot say how tough this shot is. A step back four point game winner. Joey Buckets, Joe Cool, Joey the professional score, whatever you want to call Joe Johnson. He gets it done and he can score at all levels on the basketball court. And led by this year's coach of the year and Lisa Leslie. What a job she's done in her first season and this team's first season in the big three. The Hall of Famer, the glove. Gary Payton leads the three-headed monster. He said, this is probably the best team I've had and I expect the championship as Joe knocks down the three. And that's what makes Joe so tough, because you can't go to sleep on him anywhere. Whether we're talking about from the three-point line, the four-point line, mid-range, posting up, he can do it all. Here's Richard Lewis going at Anthony Anderson. Backs him down and draws a foul. And that's going to be a tough matchup for Anderson, because Richard Lewis obviously has the height advantage. But then Rashard is one of those guys, once he gets to a certain spot, he can just pull up and shoot over you at any time because he has an excellent jump shot. So Rashard shooting one for two. Knocks down the free throws. Three to two, our score. You know, the first time these two teams met in week seven, it surprised the triples. They put Reggie Evans on Joe Johnson, a bigger guy, stronger guy. They thought it was going to be Rashard Lewis, and it kind of threw off the continuity of the triplets and it took them a half to get things going and that's what you're trying to do whenever you're planning against a great score a guy like joe johnson you just want to see hey can i frustrate him for maybe a five to ten minute stretch and, and see what happens and that's what they were able to do in the first meeting i'm not sure they're going to be able to do that today joe johnson got off to a quick start hitting his first three and how about alan anderson he has picked up two quick ones against richard lewis so that means alan anderson is going to have to have a seat because if you pick up a third personal in the first half you'll have to sit for the rest of the first half and it'll be interesting to see what does this do for the spacing for the triplets because uh, anderson obviously a, a very good jump shooter uh, jamario moon uh, he can he can score as well but he is not as good of a jump shooter so that might allow the three-headed monster to show a little bit more attention to joe johnson reggie evans knocks it down in the lane one point lead jamario moon cuts to the basket and mario chalmers fouls him but we talk about Jamario Moon maybe not being the best jump shooter in the world, but what he really is good at is cutting, weak side. He's always been a guy that if you turn your head, he'll find the open area on the basketball court, and he understands how to play without the best. And played for the three-headed monsters last season. Now a member of the triplets. And he knocks down the free throws. 7-4. Triplets. Suffered just one loss all season long, and that was to power. 
Here's Reggie Evans. Fade. Fires. Missed it, but there's Richard Lewis. And Evans pushed off on that rebound. And that's what Reggie, and that's what Reggie does. Reggie fights inside. He's not going to give up an inch. Every once in a while, he'll get called for some offensive fouls, but he's willing to do the dirty work in there. He's willing to be a grinder. Three-point lead for the triplets. Here's Joe Johnson. And once again, Joe, he could have easily tried to go at Reggie right there, but he sees that it, he understands the importance of getting his teammates off early. Jamario Moon, clear mismatch, clear advantage inside with, Mar with Mario Chalmers on him. So let's see if we can milk that a little bit. Yeah, that's the second on Chalmers. Uh-oh. But he's going to stay in. Here's Joe. And he wants to go right, but they want to go right back to that matchup. Now Joe waves it out. He says, listen, man, let me, let, me, let me go to work real quick. Let me cook. Lewis inside to Reggie Evans. Did they call a foul? What they call? Yeah, they call a foul. And Reggie didn't. Reggie doing a good job of just fighting for position right now. And he understands this. If you're going to try to put somebody that's smaller on me, then I'm going to go ahead and try to exploit that inside. I thought they called a foul. Did they not call a foul? Clearing violation. Oh, clearing violation. Clearing okay. violation. All right. So three-headed monsters will inbound. Char Lewis working on Jamario Moon. Turns. Comes out. Here's Moon. Al Jefferson's asking for it. Yeah, I, I want some action down there. Joe knocked away. Al definitely wants some action down there. And you know, Al has an excellent post game, always has. Um, is able to show a lot of ball fakes, get to that left shoulder, does an excellent job scoring inside. So if he's out there on that court, he's a guy that had a reputation as being a score when he's in the league. He, he deserves his touches. Yeah, no one touched that one. That went right off of Joe Johnson. They're going to have a review and take a look at it. Watch when Joe Johnson turns and faces. He lost it. Joe trying to post up Mario Chalmers, taking his time, going up right here. Nah, he just simply loses that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's definitely going to be a three-headed monster's ball. This one shouldn't take a long time to figure out. Kind of easy to see. And give Mario Chalmers some credit in there, st standing in there, trying to stand his ground, not letting Joe get anything easy. Charles Rubia, Dave McAndrew, and Ian McLenny. Those are our officials for this game. And again, as they take another look, they'll give it to the three-headed monsters. And it's the triplets with a three-point lead. First team to 25, we go to the half. Here's Richard Lewis. The dump off to Mario Chalmers. He missed it. Great, Knocked out of bounds by Reggie Evans. Great pass, though, by Richard Lewis. Chalmers is probably kicking himself. He wants that layup back again. Gets kind of rushed a little bit. He could feel the defense behind him. Here's Joe Johnson. Inside to Al Jefferson. Good ball fake, and he lays it in. And I talk about Al being a guy that has excellent fakes down there and scores well on the basket, and that's been one of the staples of his game. From when he first came into the NBA until now is that, that pump fake. It's real quick, it's fast, and he, he's able to get a lot of guys to fall for it. Chalmers gets the bump as he drives. And that right there is just Mario Chalmers simply understanding, listen, you switch the pick and roll, you get Al Jefferson on me, I'm going to take him to the basket. I'm going to exploit that matchup. And once again, like as we talked about in the previous game, when you talk about three-on-three -three basketball, when you get these matchups that are in your favor, you got to exploit that. you got to make the other team stop that. So if you're a three-headed monster, you understand that Al Jefferson is a terror inside, but the way you can combat that is by putting him in every screen and roll, forcing him to guard, and make, maybe wearing him out from a defensive standpoint because, hey, we're going to make this guy work every time he doesn't have the ball. 
That's going to be the second on Al Jefferson. Here's Chalmers. They're coming right back to it. They got the switch they want. The three. Yes, Dario Chalmers. Don't get tired of success. The next time you get the ball, run that same play again. Because when Al tried to come up on the screen, Mario blew by him. When Al sagged back, Mario hit the shot. Force Al Jefferson to guard, force him to defend. The kick out to Jefferson. The corner three, no. Here's Chalmers again. Takes the pass, pulls up, got it, Chalmers. Chalmers is cooking right now. He's got five, had a season high and team high 19 last week for the Monsters. Here's Iso Joe. Pulls up on Reggie. Short, but the foul on Reggie Evans. I can't really see that. It looked look like he might have hit Joe on the wrist or on the arm at the end of the shot. Probably need a replay to see what actually happened right there. You know, Joe's not a guy that normally air balls. Here's another look. Nice pull up. Yeah, it looks like he hits him right there on the wrist at the end. Got to call that. So Reggie. Got to protect your shooters. Evans is going to have a seat. Larry Sanders will check in for the first time for the three-headed monsters. Here's this season's MVP. And Larry Saunders, this presents an interesting challenge because in the first matchup, he played excellent defense on Joe Johnson. So when they run a screen and roll and they switch it, Larry Saunders is one of those guys. He's long, he's lean, he's athletic. He could present a couple of problems for ISO Joe. Got Mario Moon. Reached in, but then drew the foul. Ah, and Jamario Moon in this play right there. I understand he's scrapping, he's hustling there, but you don't have to reach in because you have Mario Chalmers right where you want him. Chalmers didn't have anything going for himself. That foul kind of bailed him out. Knocks down the free throws. And we are all tied up at 11. First team to 25, we go to the half. Chalmers to Richard Lewis. Oh, blew the layup. Joe. And this is the matchup we were talking about. Larry Saunders playing great defense against Joe the first time. That floater is deadly. And that's what a great score does. You take the data in from the last matchup. You make an adjustment. This time, Joe goes right to work on Larry Sanders. Two-point lead for the triplets. It's the big three playoffs. It's playoff time, baby. Oh, uh, yay, yay. Well, they'll investigate the unexplainable. Evil, a CBS original series coming this fall. You're watching the Big Three Playoffs, brought to you by State Farm. You know, when it comes to versatility, it's all about ISO Joe. Let's take a look. Got our Dove Men Plus Care career bio on Joe Johnson. His head coach is the coach of the year this year in the Big Three, Lisa Leslie. She's with Michael Rappaport. Unprecedented access with Coach Leslie. Uh, listen, I know you want to play for the championship next week at Staples Center in your hometown. What are you going to do to close this puppy out? I think we came out with a great start. You know it's a chess match. Gary, they have some great pieces over there. But I think our team is being really effective. I, I love the fact that we're moving the ball, and we just don't want to get too caught up in one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to be key down the stretch. All right, well, I'm wishing you luck. I know the fans would love to see you coach for a championship next week at the Staples Center. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good luck, Coach. Hey, Mom. She said, hey, Mom, Brian Custer. That's what you call unprecedented access, me amigo. I have it. You don't. <laughs> He's just happy that it's not Catino Mobley he has to yeah. try and talk to. He's just happy, uh, definitely just happy for that. Catino uh, didn't seem like he wanted to talk to <laughs> talk to our guy that much that last game. A little bit of foul trouble going on here for the triplets. Yeah, you look at these guys, Jefferson and Anderson and Moon, all of them with two. Again, if they get three, you have to sit for the rest of the first half. And first team to 25. 
And then we go to the half, so we got a little ways to go here. Larry Sanders will go to the line. And the big and the big three is a real physical league, so you can really pick up those fouls in a hurry because you have to fight for your position. You have to fight for everything inside, and sometimes you can get a little bit too overzealous. Tied up at 13. Yes, yeah, so I want to see how guys like Allen Anderson and some of these guys that have the foul trouble are going to respond. Good roll there by Sanders, but knocked away. I think that's a triplets ball, right? Yeah. Anderson will inbound. Here's Moon. He'll pull it. Got it. To Mario Moon knocks down the three. He's got five points. Lead is three. Here's Rio. Thought about the four. The oop. The Sanders. He dunks it home. Great pass by Mario Chalmers. Understand that there's two guys on me. That means somebody has to be wide open. Doesn't always have to be a shot. Chalmers is the guy that's been a score first point guard but showing the vision right there. One point lead for triplets. Anderson to Moon. Ball fake. Missed it. Great defense by Sanders right there. His closeout, his ability to take up so much ground and space really caused Moon to miss that shot. And Sanders high above the rim. Missed it though. Not sure who that went off of right there. And you see nice pass here by Rashard Lewis. I'd have liked to see Sanders maybe just take one more dribble, one more step in and try to flush that on Jamario Moon. Rashard Lewis will pull the three. Joe Johnson the board. Working on Sanders. And this is what Joe does. He likes to, he rocks you to sleep with that handle. And then he just creates just enough space to get his jumper off. But Sanders, a rare big man that can actually stay with Joe Johnson on the perimeter. But he has the length to affect his jump shot. Moon tried to grab it. Lost it out of bounds. So Chalmers will inbound for the three-headed monsters. Down a point. Saunders, Saunders looking to set a nice good screen right there. Roll to the basket. Here's Richard Lewis. Ball fake. Lays it in. Excellent fake. And, and it's clear to see that right now the three-headed monsters, what they really want to do is they want to run a lot of pick and roll, and they want to extend Richard Lewis and, they, and find a way and basically spread that court out so it makes it very hard for the triplets to defend them. One-point lead. Joe Johnson. Ball fake. And bank, banks it in. As we go back and forth, nine for Joe. Oh, offensive foul right there. Now, that was dangerous. Anderson was in there fighting for position with Sanders. Foul could have went either way. It goes against Sanders on this, on, on, in, this, uh, in this instance. That's good news for the triplets, considering Anderson has two personal. Yes. And that's what I'm talking about with the big three being real physical. Guys always fight for position. You can pick up that third foul at any time if you're Anderson. Here's Joe working on Richard Lewis. Spins, ball fake, kick out, great, moon. Great find. Extra pass to Anderson. One on the shot clock, didn't get it off. And that is excellent. That was excellent ball movement. That was excellent defense. I'm super impressed with Sanders and how much ground he covers. Like, he is so long and athletic that he can be in the paint, but then he can do it. He does a great job of recovering and taking away jump shots as well. Mario Moon, the steal. Anderson, the offensive glass. He'll pull a three. In and out. Here's Johnson now. Working on Sanders. Spins. Fades. Got it. Joe Johnson. And that's what you do when you're a professional scorer. He understands that Sanders is long and athletic, right? So he can stay with him on the perimeter. 
So then he just takes him inside, gives him a little bit of a shoulder, a little bit of an elbow, knock him off balance so he can get his jump shot off. Joe is always patient when it comes to executing on the offensive end. He's never in a hurry. Chalmers drove the lane, missed it. Here's Anderson. You see right here, Anderson driving right to the basket. Mario trying to cut him off, but clearly two hands on the drive. Easy call for the official. Al Jefferson to check back in. Jamario Moon will have a seat. Reggie Evans. Has checked in. Rodney Carney will see his first action for the three-headed monsters as well. Here's Allen Anderson. And it's going to be interesting to see what the three-headed monsters do when they get the ball. Will they go right back to their strategy that was effective early in the ball game when Al Jefferson was in? And that was to simply isolate him in the screen and roll and force him to defend. That ball knocked away by Richard Lewis. Triplets are a three away from the half. They're on a 6-0 run. Joe Johnson, the leading scorer. Averaging 21, he's got 11. Anderson working on Carney. Oh, what Good a fake. Drop off to Al Jefferson. And he's fouled as he goes up. And Al Jefferson to go to the line. What a move by Anderson, though. Not a lot of flash to it, but a whole lot of substance. Quick little jab step went right by Carney, was able to get to the basket. Shot too strong. Carney for three. Yes. And, and I got my answer. I wanted to see, hey, what were the three-headed monsters going to do? Are they going to continue to exploit Al Jefferson in the pick and roll? Obviously, Gary Payton, one of the better point guards to ever play in the game, has coached his team up to really take advantage of the fact that Al is excellent offensively, not really known for his defense, and they are exploiting that fact tonight. Here's Carney again, another three. Missed it wide, just signed this week for the three-headed monsters. Evans with four on the shot clock, yes! Oh, here comes the Monsters now as we're all tied up at 22. And both these teams have come to play. No back down. Both these teams executing, playing hard, playing the right way unselfishly. Joe with the rock. And I like the challenge right there by Rashard Lewis. Now, he's, not, he's not letting Joe get comfortable. That's and another we, reach in by Rashard Lewis with two on the shot clock. And Rashard understands the scouting report. When Joe starts doing all that dribbling, he's trying to lull you into a false sense of confidence to try to get you to relax so he can pull up on his jumper. And you see what he's trying to do is attack. So when Joe starts doing all that dribbling, Rashard is trying to attack to throw off Joe's rhythm. The winner of this game will take on the Killer Threes next weekend in Los Angeles. Right here on CBS for the Big Three Championship. As we take a look at what Joe Johnson has done here today. Joe Johnson, a.k.a. Joe Cool, Joey Buckets, not start the game off with a nice three. You see this time he drives right by Larry Sanders and then goes inside, gives him a little bit of a pump fake, goes at Sanders again, and this is the one I like. Took his time. Ah, that little nudge right there to the step back neutralizes the shot blocker's ability to block shots. Joe Johnson always in control, understanding game speed and angles. Triplets. Only one loss this season, and that was to the defending champs power. As for the three-headed monsters, Gary Payton's team, well, they started off 2-0. Then they dropped four straight. Some of those losses, I think three of them, if I'm not mistaken, well, by four points or fewer, and then they've won the last two weeks. They're the four seed, triplets the one seed. The winner takes on the killer threes. And the triplets are now just a point away, a bucket away from the half. Joe for three. 
too strong. Great hustle there by Anderson, keeping that ball alive. Here, Allen Anderson will pull up. That one is short. Reggie Evans snags the board for the Monsters. Oh, Reggie wants to go to work. Re Reggie feels like he has an advantage inside against Joe right here. He kicks it out to Sanders. Two on the shot clock. He's got to get it up. It's Carney. And this is an interesting lineup for the big for the uh, three-headed monster because oh, watch out! Because they don't really have a bunch of scoring out there right now. When you look at Evans, you look at Sanders. Those guys are normally guys that finish plays. They don't initiate them. So here's Al Jefferson and with the May bucket. We can go to the half. And he got it. His six point. And the triplets will head to the half now with a four point lead. You're watching the big three playoffs here in the Big Easy. It's presented by State Farm. Big Three Basketball on CBS Sports is sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places. VH1 Basketball Wives, new season. Check your local listing. And by State Farm. Talk to an agent today at 800-STATE-FARM. Welcome back to New Orleans playoffs. Big Three. As we look at our first half stats, the triplets with a four-point lead over the three-headed monster shooting the basketball better. More points in the paint. Brian Custer alongside Brendan Haywood. And the winner of this game heads to Los Angeles to play for the championship. And so far for the triplets, it's been what they've done all season long. Yeah. Go to Joe Johnson. Yeah, when in doubt, go to Joe Johnson. That's normally a good plan. And that's because Joe Johnson has such an immense skill set. He can score from anywhere on the court. He takes his time. He's poised. And... Uh, He's the best in this league at scoring the basketball, and that's for a reason. So when times get tough, throw the ball to ISO Joe, and normally good things will happen for you. Lisa Leslie, who would be the big three coach of the year, said one of the reasons why she thinks that they've been so successful, besides Joe Johnson, she has stressed the details with these guys. Going for 50-50 balls, rebounding, uh, making sure that she, they do all the little things to complement Johnson's game. And when you have a guy like Joe Johnson that can score the basketball, it's important that the other guys around them, around him, understand what they need to do to be effective and that they don't get a little bit jealous that he's getting some of those touches. So compliment the Lisa Leslie for getting everybody to buy into their roles and understanding what it takes to make a championship run. I thought it was interesting. She said she had a conversation with Michael Cooper, who was her coach in the WNBA, and she thanked him for the way she, he coached their squad because Cooper's a guy who says, Hey, I'm gonna call a timeout, but tell me what you see. Right. I see different things, but you're playing, you're on the court. Tell me what you see. And Lisa Leslie says she does the same thing with the triplets. Well, listen, anytime you're a player, you always love a coach that wants your input. Because coaches know a lot, but they don't know everything. And sometimes a player, and I've seen this with great players I've played with, I've been in the huddle where LeBron James can walk up to a coach and be like, listen, they've been playing it like this. We need to make an adjustment. Or in Dallas, when I played with Jason Kidd, he would go to Rick Carlisle all the time and be like, hey, this is what I see. Let's try to uh, exploit it in the next time out. And players understand that, uh, understand and love when coaches listen to their input. Here's Richard Lewis. Sweet Lou driving to the rack. Lead is just two now. Here's Joe Johnson. Baseline. Oh. And hat at the rim by Lewis. Good take like usual by Joe. Uh, catches Reggie Evans just a little bit too eager trying to close out and then drives along the baseline. Joe Johnson, the league leading scorer, averaging 21. He's got 13 right now. Make it 15. And as a guy that competed against Joe Johnson a lot, I was always in awe of his game because he didn't have the most athleticism in the world. And so you look at the guy that scored as many points as he has, been an all-star as many times as he has, and it's just been because of an immense skill set. It hasn't been because he plays above the rim or he's super quick. He just simply knows how to play. Mahmoud Abdul-Raouf. 
He's from this area. In fact, he's from Gulfport, Mississippi. Of course, went to LSU, known as Chris Jackson back in those days. And back in the day at LSU, he used to have it rocking. Chris Jackson and Shaq. A number of guys here playing in these games, these playoff games, who are from this area. Big Baby, Baton Rouge, Al Jefferson from Mississippi, and Richard Lewis from Pineville, Louisiana, and of course, Steven Jackson from Port Arthur, Texas. All representing this Gulf Coast region. Hey. What's that? What's that hat? Here? What's that hat? There? Is that a Duke hat? That looks hey. like that. Oh, hey, wee. wait, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm about to talk to a producer. Somebody, somebody's getting fired behind this. They better go find a UNC fan really quick and show, show them. Spoken like a true tar here. Oh my goodness. Four point lead for the triplets. First team to 50. Win by two. Is victorious. Allen Anderson will inbound. Here's Al Jefferson. And Reggie Evans all on Joe. Stolen by Rashard Lewis. Knocked away from Reggie Evans. And Allen Anderson will go to the line. Great hands right there by Al Jefferson. Because Reggie Evans looks like he has a clear dunk. Al with the nice steal and it leads to free throws on the other end. And that's one thing that Al has been good at from a defensive standpoint. We were highlighting his defense as far as on the perimeter or lack thereof. But when you get in the post, he's always had quick hands. He's been a guy that's always been able to get steals, swipe down at the basketball, and make up for some of his defensive efficiencies that way. Anderson knocks down the free throws. He's got four. Lead is six. It's getting real physical in there between, and, between Anderson and Evans. Evans didn't like that foul by Anderson at all. Looked like a little bit of a, of a cross check right there. Body blow. Here's Mahmoud. Steps through. Ball deflected. Five on the shot clock. Mahmoud will pull it. Short. Joe's got a size of hands on Mike Moore. He can get his jumper off right now anytime he wants to. Drops it off. Oh! Jefferson. Okay, Big Al. Rocks the rim. He's got eight. The lead is eight. And, but he's grabbing his back now. I think he might have. I hope he didn't hurt himself on that play. But Al showing. You, you, see him, you see him grabbing the back a little bit. But Al is show, Al show extreme explosion right here. Joe with the excellent pass, and Al just coming out of nowhere, finishing with one hand. I love the unselfishness by Joe Johnson. Love the finish by Al Jefferson even better. Joe Johnson leads the league in scoring and assists. Ooh. You saw why. Good steal. Al Jefferson again. Well, his back can't be too hurt because he is dunking all around this gym. Lisa Leslie loves it. Triplets on an 8-0 run. And they've got a 10-point lead thanks to Al Jefferson. He's got eight points. Triplets trying to play for the Big Three Championship next week. Well, coming up next, we go from first to 50. Can you stay off at eight? Some of the best riders in the world compete at the Jack Daniels Music City Knockout Last Cowboy Standing. It's right here on CBS. Time now for our Barstool Sports Moment of the Day. It came in the other semifinal game. Killer threes, power, playing for a trip to the championship game in the strip. And that's the game-winning shot by C.J. Watson in the killer threes. First time team has ever been in the playoffs they're headed to the championship game and they will take on the winner of this game in LA right here on CBS next Sunday triplets with a 10-point lead Mario Chalmers guarded by Allen Anderson gets the screen from Reggie Evans the drive Missed it. 
Anderson clears it for the triplets. Here's Joe Johnson. Time running out for Joe. Drive, left hand, yes! Wow. 17 for Joe. Six seconds on the shot clock. Joe realizing he didn't have time to waste. Went right to the basket, finishing with the left. Chalmers gets the bump from Jefferson. And the triplets are right back, right back to it. And when Al's on the court, they're going to force him to guard the pick and roll. And once he switches, they're going to try to go at him. Whatever, If he stays back, they're going to take the jumper. If he comes up, they're going to try to drive it. And, and so far in this game, it's worked out very well. Now what the triplets have to, not the triplets, well, now what the three-headed monster have to do is find a way to string together some stops. You know what you're going to do from an offensive standpoint. Now, what are you going to do defensively to get some stops? Do you want to be champions or not? Do you want to go to the next round of the playoffs or not? You got to figure out a way. Here's Joe. Backing down Chalmers. Fade. Got it. I so Joe. Joe Cool. He's got 19. And look at the look of desperation there on the face of Gary Payton. Now you got the switch you want. Shard Lewis kisses it off the glass. Offensively, I've been impressed with the three-headed monster. They, they've done a good job offensively. Um, they look cohesive. Um, but this has been the part of the court that's been a problem lately. It's been defensively. They haven't had any answers for Joe Johnson. Nobody really has in this league all year. There's a reach in on Richard Lewis. Richard Lewis didn't like that. He didn't like, he didn't like that call. He didn't like that call at all. He's going to come over and join us. Yeah, he's going to come sit in the booth for a little bit. <laughs> he's going to come sit in the penalty box so he won't say anything bad to the refs. Triplets, meanwhile, have made their last six. Rashard Lewis still sitting in disbelief. And now Gary Payton's going to go at it with the refs. Uh, for the hey, second hey. straight year, he won the big three trash talker of the year. To no surprise to anyone. And, and this is what GP is one of the best point guards to ever play. But he is the best trash talker to ever play in, in the league. No yeah. question. Joe's got 21. The triplets are 10 points away from playing for the championship. Triplets very close to competing for the championship. And the three-headed monster, they have to get on their game. They have to get on their game. I think they're going to give Mario Chalmers three shots right here. But like I said, offense hasn't been the problem. The problem has been from a defensive standpoint, they really haven't been able to figure out how to stop the triplets or even slow them down. Joe Johnson being his usual self, 21 points, hyper-efficient, 6 of 9 from the field to go, to go along with 4 rebounds and 3 assists. They thought the triplets were asking for a foul on Reggie Evans. They thought he moved. And I thought that was actually a pretty good screen by Reggie. So Anderson will inbound, up 12. Here's Joe, working on Reggie Evans. Shakes, fires, missed it. Chalmers the board. Char Lewis inside to Reggie. He kisses it off the glass. Lead is 10 now. And I've been impressed with Reggie Evans as far as when he gets in the lane, he's been decisive. Um, he knows exactly what he wants to do with the ball. So I've been impressed with him from that aspect. Here's Joe Johnson. Great Ripped steal away by Chalmers. by Chalmers. Great steal by Chalmers. And that's what the three-headed monster have to do to get back in this game. They got to figure out a way to shake the game up. They have to figure out a way from a defensive standpoint to collapse, make it a little bit ugly. And this is one of those type of plays. You know Joe's going to work. Take it out of his hands. Double him. Force somebody else to beat you. And more importantly, if you're the three-headed monsters, try to get in the bonus. Yeah. Get in that bonus, man. That way every time... You go to the line, you make those free throws, you keep possession of the basketball. Chalmers knocks down the free throws. It's only an eight-point game now, so if you can get another stop here and then another score, next thing you know, the game gets a little closer, a little tighter. Give yourself a shot at it. They double-team Anderson. Uh, but they double-teaming the wrong guy. But and a near steal by the Monsters. Here's Joe Johnson with four on the shot clock. Right. 
And it's got to be a shot clock violation. Got to be a shot clock violation. Lisa Leslie wants a re review. Gary Payton be behind her in disbelief. I love it. Look at those Hall of Famers out there. Com these two Hall of Famers, when we talk about Lisa Leslie and Gary Payton, they still want to win so bad. You can did tell that, 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 that winning fire is right there. That did touch the rim. It did touch the that rim. That touched the rim. That yeah. definitely touched the rim. Lisa Leslie is right on this one. That touched the rim for sure. There you can see. That's why Lisa Leslie said review it. Yes. She's not coaching the year for nothing, Brian. You're right. She got that good eye. You're right. I thought it was an air ball, but Lisa, Lisa had that good had that good eye, had that good vision right there. That ball clearly nicked the rim. Triplets ball. At least it should be. Here's the shot by Joe Johnson. Looks and like it grazes yeah, the rim. Yeah, you see it change direction. Yep. Mario Moon got the board. And you can't really tell from that angle, but when you see the other angle, you see the ball and you see it just change direction slightly. That lets you know that it hit the rim. So it should be triplets basketball with an eight-point lead. Again, the winner of this game heads to Los Angeles to play for the championship against the Killer Threes. And you can see that game next Sunday right here on CBS. Well, I'm Taking them some time over there. They are. They're taking their time looking at it. Again, these two teams faced each other in week seven. It seems like an easy call to me, but the fact that they're taking their time means they they really aren't quite sure. Like I think that angle really shows the fact that that ball changed directions and hit the rim. What do you think, Brian? That angle, it looks like it. Yeah. That angle, absolutely. But they're talking us over. They're having a conference now. I see a lot, a lot of, a lot of head shaking and scratching going on over there with these officials. One of them should just say, "All right, you got that quarter. Let's yeah. just flip the coin." Exactly. <laughs> head to tails. Head to tails. <laughs> tails never fails. Yeah, right. Exactly. Uh-oh, there's a look of exasperation here on the face of Lisa Leslie. Let's see what, what the call is. Got it. Triplets basketball on the side. 13 seconds, they'll put on the shot clock. I wonder why Jamar Moon's three doesn't count, though. I guess, are they saying that they stop play at that yeah, point? Yeah, basically. Okay. Anderson went down, eight point lead. Over 11,000 have come out here to the Smoothie King Center as Joe Johnson, that floater. Oh, he's no average Joe. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to get that one off today? All day. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saving that one. Ten point lead. He's got scored the last eight points for the triplets. Richard Lewis. That one comes out. If I'm a three-headed monster, man, I, you know what, man? I might have to try something a little bit different. That shot blocked. Reggie Evans lays it in. I understand that Rashad Lewis had a great defense right there. But I know that Joe Johnson is good enough to beat. He has 23 points today. He's 7 of 12 from the field. M m maybe we should start running somebody at him. Get the ball out of his hands. Let me see if some of these other guys can beat him. Send the double. Like, see, I, I'm not. I, 
Anderson, strong move, got his own board. The kick out and oh. throw it away, Jamario Moon. Let's check in with Michael Rappaport. Fellas, this game ain't over. Um, and, you know, uh, they're, they're playing hard. This is one of the most competitive uh, big three games I've seen. Three-headed monsters are not going anywhere. And we know what the triplets are going to do. These teams want to compete for a championship in Los Angeles next week under the brightest lights of the big three. Six-point lead. Here's Joe. Look Step back for three. Missed it. Chalmers. And they call the offensive foul on Mario Chalmers. Great defense there by Anderson sliding his feet. Chalmers trying to put him in the trick bag. Anderson slides his feet. Clearly an offensive foul. He does a good job of cutting off Mario Chalmers, and then Mario Chalmers extends his arm. So that's, that's absolutely the right call. Timeout called on the court. Chalmers didn't like the call. Chalmers might not like the call, but it was the right call. It was the right call in that situation. Anderson well, not only was, was there, but he, but he took the push off as well. Coming up next, we go from first to 50. And can you stay on for eight? Some of the best riders in the world, they're going to compete at the Jack Daniels Music City knockout. Last Cowboy standing in. It's right here on CBS. How long do you think you'd be able to last? Not eight. Not eight? Not eight. You couldn't get eight seconds? I'd give you four. Could, you could get four, though. I'd give you four. You think you four. could get four? I think I'd definitely I don't, get four. I'm not sure if you could do two. Now, that's insulting. Have you ever done it before? No, but I, I think I know. But, I so you're a rookie in that situation. So I'm not. <laughs> you're, saying, like you're saying you could get four seconds? Yeah. I'm not sure about that. I think I can give you definite four. Okay. Well, listen, I've seen some of your workout videos. So <laughs> you, you're serious in the gym with yeah. the boxing and everything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. So I'm not going to sell you yeah, short. Come I'm, on, I'm man. not going to sell you short. Come on. Look like you still got some hands, too, man. A little something. Look like. Hey, hey, hey you're, not, you're not the guy to run up on. <laughs> <laughs> And neither are the triplets of eight. Again, win by two. First team to 50. Set your lineup. Joe Johnson, Allen Anderson, Jamario Moon for the triplets. For the three-headed monsters, Mario Chalmers, Reggie Evans, and Rashard Lewis. Here's Joe Johnson. I think, I think Jamario Moon, did he hurt himself on that play? Allen Anderson lays it in. I think Jamario Moon just might have strained his hamstring a little bit or something. He's got six points. Yeah, I think they might be checking out Jefferson in for Jamario Moon. Chalmers. How about the defense there by Moon? Hey, hurt or not, he's still able to slide his feet and get that block. He tries to stretch it, stretch it out. Yeah, clearly bothered by something, looking like in the hamstring, hamstring area. Here's Chalmers. Step back three. Got Boom. it. As he falls into the lap of Jackson Hayes of the New Orleans Pelicans. He's got 14, it's Chalmers. Man, that young fella's gonna be good too, man. He might have had the dunk of the summer league. I don't know if you saw, but oh man, he baptized somebody. Here's Joe. Lost it. Evans. And Moon thought he got that one cleanly. I thought he did as well. Looked like a great rotation by Moon, but you love the hustle here by the three-headed monster, Richard Lewis, hustling inside, finds Reggie Evans. That's a good block. I'm sorry. That's a good block. Evans, 12 points. Six of seven from the field. And left it short. Here's Joe Johnson. Floater, no. And knocked away by Johnson. It'll be three-headed monsters basketball. Over 11,000 have come out here in New Orleans. 
to watch the playoffs. Here's Reggie. He's going to turn and face. Spin. Left hand. No. Allen Anderson for three. Yes. Hello. He's got nine. I Triplets are now three points away from victory. Here's Richard Lewis. Reverse. No. Reggie lost it going up. Oh, man. Reggie Evans had a wide open dunk. If he could just corral the rebound right there. Looking like triplets ball and a chance to end this game. You think they're going for three? Oh, I, I, Joe has it. Absolutely. He's got it. And the foul by Reggie Evans. That's his call. As Joe Johnson has the seat. When, you, when you're an excellent scorer, you understand sometimes how to take advantage of the defense. That's what Joe Johnson is doing right there. Reggie Evans a little bit, a little too overzealous on that position. Timeout. Triplets three points away from victory. As soon as we're done, it's the Jack Daniels Music City knockout. Take a listen into the huddle of the triplets. Who, who's in? You're in, right? We'll just watch. We won't listen. We'll just watch. If he pops to the corner, you go down. You take. You come back up. All right. Hey, then he's coming in bounds. So we don't. We can't really know. We're supposed to be able to get some audio. We couldn't get it, but we see the triplets focus. Lisa Leslie obviously has a play drawn up. I want to see this. You have a play drawn up for three, or if it's just going to try to go ahead and do this the hard way, get a nice quick two, and then finish it up with a possession after that. Anderson inbounding. It looks like it's, he's going to go for three. I missed it. Here's Chalmers. Five on the shot clock. He'll shoot the four. Rebound Reggie Evans. Oh. I'm not sure. That might have been a little something right there. Mark, Jamari Moon wound up on that one for that foul. And those guys have been going at it. And Reggie Evans is the type that can get under your skin. I've been, I've been in Jamario Moon's situation where Reggie can get under your skin. Reggie throws the shoulder into Moon, and they call the offensive foul. And you know what you do to somebody that's trying to get under your skin? You get under theirs. You don't retaliate. You don't do anything silly. I love how Moon responds right there. Takes the charge. So Allen Anderson will leave the inbound again. Now they put a Reggie Evans on Joe Johnson. And Joe wants his ball. Three points away from victory. Will he step it back for four points like he did last time against the three-headed monster? Here's Joe. He's lulling him to sleep. He's going to pull it. Good he night. He He's lulling him to sleep. Again. Good night. He's no average Joe, and he's won it. Another game winner for Joe Johnson and the triplets will head to the championship game. Iso Joe, Joe Cool, Joey Buckets, Joe Johnson, the professional scorer, rocks Reggie Evans right to sleep. And oh, kiss the baby, Joe Johnson. Dagger. Six points. The game high score in the league MVP. His fifth game winner and the triplets will head to the championship game next sunday against the killer threes in hollywood for brendan haywood michael rapaport and our entire crew i'm brian custer coming up next on cbs it's the pbr jack daniels music city knockout this has been a presentation of cbs sports in association with the big three